Yeah, the police here confirm they're investigating really a bizarre case. This attorney tells me he was buying items for a family member's dorm room. He says they weren't pricey, but still, he doesn't want this to happen to anyone else. And he walks over and hands the package directly to the thief. There you go. Attorney James Kessinger showing us the surveillance footage from his Gladstone office. In video from a recent Saturday, a delivery driver in a Mazda SUV pulls in and leaves a package by the door. He even snaps a picture, which is sent to Kessinger in a confirmation email. Eleven minutes later, the driver of a white Pontiac arrives and appears to take the package. A second delivery driver in a Chevrolet truck shows up and hands another package to the alleged thief. We've blurred the faces of those involved since they haven't been charged with a crime. Walmart just gave my package to the thief. You'll notice another confirmation email from the second driver sent 14 minutes later doesn't show a package. So the mail slot's right here. Kessinger noticed something else about the video. And he's got that piece of paper in his hand right there. And he walks over and you can see him put it toward the mail slot. Kessinger came in on Monday and found the piece of mail. He ran it through his database and found the person it was sent to died four years ago. As an attorney, Kessinger has access to certain tools the rest of us don't. He says the Pontiac driver also had stolen tags. On stolen plates with a dead guy's mail in his car. 11 minute difference. I've had some people tell me I should be suspicious. It's either a remarkable coincidence or somebody tipped off the thief and he knew to come and get the packages. Kessinger wanted to share this story of a bizarre day at the office so this doesn't happen to anyone else. I want to do my part to protect the next person down the line. I, you know, I can pay for this stuff. I didn't have to this time, Walmart credited me, but still, um, the next person might not be so lucky. So as you just heard, he said Walmart did provide a credit, so he just bought the items again. We reached out to Walmart Friday morning. So far, we haven't heard back. Lauren?